Every day in the USA, people find themselves in court. All right, Mr. and Mrs. Jackson, will you come up and have a seat? Good. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Ms. Sheminar, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Um, Timothy and Sally Jackson are here. Mr. Jackson, I don't know if you remember me. When you were a kid, didn't you live on 4th Avenue? Uh, in Three Rivers? I think at one time we did live on 4th Avenue and then for the rest of the time growing up, it was on West Street. Yes. Uh, that was a long time ago, long time about ago. 60 years ago, but uh, I remember when you were a kid and I was a kid. Ms. Schemenauer, can you hear me? Yes, yes, Judge. All right. Uh, we were here last week and they want you to get you and your camper out of their property. Uh, have you made any progress? I have, um, see, anything that I leave here, I know that I will lose, and I got help from the church to get, because my truck was broke down, and I have put in, had put in a head, a head gasket, a um, new radiator, and right when it was almost finished, I lost the key, so um, I had a key made. Um, on Monday and it looks like there's some water leaking underneath it so I think it needs a water pump and the church said to find out for sure what it is and um, they would pay for that part and it would be a lot easier for me to move if I had a vehicle and my camper is very large I plan on moving I'm not sure where I'm moving to, but I plan on moving. I just wanted to see if there was any way I could get a little more time because it's, um, it's, it's just, a, it's a lot. It's a 30 foot uh, camper and I, it's a, a truck and I have everything in the shed. I've been giving away most of my um, things and then throwing out um, others. And I just need a little more time. All right, well, he's under the gun from the township to get this trailer out of there also. Um, I understand. Um, I figured I wouldn't know unless I asked, but I okay, do well, know. Are you willing to give her more, any more time? Uh, they indicate no, Miss Jackson. Uh, now, let me explain a little further. The date for the writ is 10 days from today, which is October 30th. They can do the eviction, but I can tell you, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to move this than for them to hire somebody and just haul it somewhere. So they don't have to evict you on October 30th. Mr. and Mrs. Jackson, you have 56 days from today to ask for the writ. We don't get rent, sir. The writ, writ of eviction. Oh, excuse me. Um, you don't have to evict her on October 30th. Uh, Sergeant Morse could come out as the sheriff and move her, but you're gonna have to hire somebody to haul the trailer out of there, uh, move all of her stuff. Um, and it, frankly, it would be easier to let her move it herself. But by the letter of the law, on or after October 30th, I'll be back in a little You can bit. ask for a writ of eviction to have her removed. Now, you have to ask for that writ within 56 days. Okay. So I certainly would, whatever you do, you should do it by Thanksgiving. But it's about to get very cold. You're going to have a hard time finding a place to put this. They're under pressure from the township because they aren't supposed to have this on their property. Uh, you wish to move, but you're having difficulties doing it. The order I just entered says you have until October 30th to move or you're subject to being evicted. So what does Mr. that mean? Mrs. 
It means if you don't move by October 30th, they can call the sheriff and have him come put your stuff out. But they have to pay for that. So they would have to pay someone to come haul your trailer out of there and then give you the bill, which would be very difficult to collect on. So they have some discretion in the matter, but at some point their patience is wearing out. And as I mentioned, they're under the threat from the township. So my point is you should make every effort to get that out of there and get your possessions out of there within the next 10 days. If you can't get your truck fixed, maybe you can hire somebody to come pull it out of there, uh, but uh, then move your truck. But uh, if push comes to shove and it's not out of there, they can have it removed and put who knows where. Uh, so my advice is the same, make every effort to get it out of there. Um, this is another tenant. We had several of these today where somebody tried to help out somebody else and it just didn't work out for either side. Um, all right, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Jackson, if you go out to the counter, we'll give you a copy of the order. All right, let me repeat this. You have until the 30th of October to move or you're subject to being evicted. You don't have to evict her on October 30th. You have 56 days from today to ask for the writ of eviction, which would be sometime in early December. Um, and if you do it, it's going to cost you to get her property out of there. The sheriff doesn't pay it then you can sue her for the money, but you're gonna have difficulty collecting any money from her. So as a practical matter, it's probably easier to wait for her to get it out of there. But those are your options. Uh, then, yes? If, if I am no longer residing here, if like if I don't stay the night here anymore, wouldn't, my parents be willing to give me more time to move the camper? Well, that's between you and them. Uh, but uh, they're still under the gun from the township. If no one's living in there and it's properly licensed, I believe you can store it, but I'm not sure what this property looks like. If no one's living in it, you can have a camper trailer on your property as long as it's plated. You can't have a camper trailer on your property and have someone live in it, uh, at least not in most townships here in St. Joe County. All right, you ought to be able to speak to each other, your mother and father and daughter, but um, at some point you need to get this out of there. May All right. I ask a question? Yes. Um, how much does it cost to have the sheriff call it out of there? hundreds of dollars the sheriff doesn't do it they would get a contractor and they'd come do it and they'd have to hire somebody to do it um so um i can't answer that sergeant morse may be able to answer it yeah because meanwhile we're paying for electric i understand all right uh if you go out to the counter you'll get a copy of this and uh Ms. Seminar, I hope you can find a place to move this to. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. All right. Uh, the clerk will give you a copy of this. You got some tough choices to make. But I'm going to give you what you asked for. She has 10 days to move or she's subject to being evicted. Okay. That carries out. That can go all beyond that. Up, up to 56 days. Okay. All right. 